真的 Merry Christmas, Merry 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 Christmas. <laughs> Definitely did not go that way. Hey guys, this is Sam. Welcome back to the channel. Merry Christmas and Happy Holiday. Originally, I was going to make this video a 10 Christmas gift idea for your photographer friends kind of video. I even made a Instagram post asking you guys what kind of gift you want to receive as a photographer. I got tons of replies, and the best one goes to talent. Yes. Don't we all want it, Santa? Please, I will be good. Please gift me talent. <laughs> As I'm writing and research for the script, I found tons of articles and videos on this topic already. So instead of giving you a long list of things I may not even have myself today, I want to share with you the three gift I actually got. For my best photographer friend, A.K.A. myself. <laughs> yes, I got gift for myself. You have no friends, Sam. You shut up. <laughs> I do have friends. <laughs> All right, gift number one is this Peak Design Slide Light Camera Strap. I have been looking at this for a long time. If you don't know what Peak Design is, you might have seen these red dot things people have on their camera. This is a quick release button. The strap works for pretty much any kind of photo cameras. I bought this mini for my 35mm film cameras. A lot of them did not come with a strap when I bought it, so I have been using this type of traditional strap. And switching between cameras, taking it on and off, is such a pain. With this, it's much easier. You just clip out and clip back in. Last Christmas, I also bought myself a camera strap as Christmas gift. This is a dual camera harness. I use this for my wedding works and for the jobs if I need to take. Photo and video all by myself. So most of my working digital cameras they don't have straps on them all the time. But whenever, if I only need to bring one camera out, or if I need something a little low key than this, I have to put the original strap back on. <laughs> and now, hopefully, with this quick release button, everything will be easier. I'm gonna use this for a little bit and see if I like it. If so, I'm gonna buy more of this red dot thingy and put on all the cameras I use often. Gift number two: a photo book from one of my favorite portrait photographer, Richard Avedon. I don't own whole a lot of photo books because they're not cheap, especially at this size. So I'm very happy to have this one. Richard Avedon is a legendary fashion and the portrait photographer. He's very successful both artistically and commercially. He photographed the most famous and important people, celebrities, models, actors, politicians, and also everyday nobodies, beekeepers, coal miners, strangers, in such minimalistic way. The simplicity and honesty make his work so powerful and timeless. There is no way I could summarize his ideas, his work, his philosophy as a photographer in this one paragraph. As portrait photographer, we always try to capture the so-called truth of our subject. We always wanted to make a portrait that represents. The real you, Avedon just doesn't believe that. He once said, "My photographs don't go below the surface. I have great faith in surface. A good one is full of clues." I found this so inspiring. So hopefully down the road I can collect more of his books. And finally, gift number three and the most exciting one. A Alfred film processing starter kit. For years, I always 
dreamed of having my own dark room, but never put it in action because the idea of building a dark room is so overwhelming. There are so many different parts I need to gather, so many techniques I need to relearn, and I'm such a clumsy person. I failed math and chemistry when I was in school. Is processing my own film by myself even a good idea? I always thought. The other day, I went to the camera store to grab more film. I saw this on the shelf. I was like, "This is perfect." Room wasn't built in one day, but my dark room could start here. In the starter kit, I got pretty much everything I need to start my home developing process. All right, let's open it up and see what's in it. So in this box, you have one film tank, two film reel, one film can opener, three graduate, one Alfred Simplicity film starter pack. That's the chemical good for two rolls of black and white films. One stir stick, four clips that you use to hang your film dry, and one thermometer. I probably need to get a dark bag to put the film on the reel, so I don't have to black out a whole room to do that. I also need some jars to store the chemicals. Anyway, I'm not gonna get into the details in this video. I will be making another video to explain the whole process when I'm actually using this kit. And another thing is. The chemicals in the starter kit is for developing black and white films. Everything I've shot so far are color films. <laughs> so I also bought some black and white films when I got this kit. Look like we're going to shoot some black and white films soon. I am so excited and so looking forward to do this. This is gonna be so much fun. All right, this is it. All three gifts I bought myself. Now I'm going to wrap them and put them under the tree on Christmas Eve, and then I can open them on Christmas morning. <laughs> What is it? Open it up. Show me your surprise face after you open it up. You're not supposed to know what it is just by looking at the box. What is it? Well, you still don't know. You're not supposed to know. What is that? <laughs> it's a harness. No, no, it's a harness. I told you, people are gonna get the wrong idea. <laughs> What gift did you receive this year? Do you like them? Leave me a comment below and let me know. This is Sam. Don't forget the like button. Merry Christmas. Happy holiday. I will see you next time. Bye. So my camera just ran out of media, so I wasn't recording the four, the last four paragraph. Good job. Then, 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 Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And yeah, after Christmas is New Year soon. Do you guys have any New Year resolution? Also, leave me a comment below. Happy New Year.